So today's quick tip is stop counting your steps while you're throwing the javelin. Yes, I said it. Stop counting your steps. Uh, when I go to a track meet and I see kids running down the runway and sort of mouthing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It just drives me crazy. It's like, why would you want to do math while you're trying to do something as complicated as throwing a javelin? We're not very good at multitasking, so why would we just throw something complicated to something that's even more complicated? So today, I want to show you a little, sort of a little trick um, that I use to help my kids get away from counting their steps, and uh, hopefully it's valuable to you. All right, so here we go. Uh, for me, the first thing I want to do is grab some cones or some sort of marker, and you could use your shoes, it's fine. Um, but we need to mark where your crossover is going to be. So for me, the basics are make the crossover location obvious. Okay, I want it to be obvious as I get down the runway so I know this is where my goal is. So I'm just going to use a triple set of cones here and sit back, hit my cross, and deliver my throw. Now, if I were really good at this, I should be able to run from anywhere in this field on the runway and be able to hit that crossover. So if I want to come in from the side, I should still be able to hit it directly. If I'm Heck, running down the runway, I should still be able to hit and hit that spot every single time. It's like, you know, watching someone play soccer and, you know, choosing where the ball is and just kicking it. So I want to be able to basically make any adjustments so that every time I hit the crossover in the right spot. So that's the first step. All right, second step. What I want to do is I want to increase the number of steps. Now, there's a few different methods you can use. You could use a progression where you're, all you're doing is you're just adding two steps at a time and then kind of building up to it. So this would be my five step. So one, two, three, four, five. That's five steps. Once I've established that, I just start moving through it. And I'm just going to repeat over and over and over again until this is a habit and I don't need to count my steps anymore over and over again, okay? Now, we're just gonna add two more steps back. So I'm gonna grab a couple more cones. I'm gonna lengthen them a, a bit because as you start running faster, your step stride lengths are going to increase. But again, I don't wanna count these steps. I just wanna move through it. So I'm gonna look down at the cones initially and I'm just gonna move through and uh, there's my cross. Same thing if I wanna add more. So that was a seven step. Grab two more cones. Now I'm looking at a nine step. Again, I'm gonna need to adjust these, these stride lengths because they're gonna be a little tight as I start moving faster. But initially, I'm just trying to get a rhythm going. Follow each of the cones and hit my cross. As I wanna go faster, building more and more speed here, the rhythm's going to change a little bit and I'm going to increase my stride length. Again, shorter in the back, farther in the front. All right, so again, I can do this, I got a light 400 gram jab here. So again, I can just sort of look down at the cones and start seeing where they're at and start producing my throws. The goal here is gradually increase the, the speed, stop counting your steps, and just feel the rhythm of it. I kind of think about this in terms of if you've got the rhythm, you don't have to think about it anymore. So I might do this, you know, one day of practice, I might do this a hundred times. Guarantee you after a hundred attempts, you're going to get it. All right, so I'm gonna increase the stride lengths just a little bit more so I can really start moving. Again, I wanna build up to the crossover. Three cones on the end, so I wanna be building, 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 and then 
and then hitting that crossover. So little steps, building, 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 and then delivering into my throw. All right, so this time, instead of me looking down at the cones, I'm gonna try and feel the approach, try and feel like I'm building through. I don't have to land on every single cone mark. It just needs to be close in general. Something that's kind of building, building, and then of course hitting that crossover because that's my ultimate goal is get a full setup off of that crossover. So, next steps. <laughs> Once you get through like a hundred of these, you should be able to start taking away the cones. You should feel like, okay, I've got the rhythm. I feel pretty good. I feel like, all right, I know exactly where I'm gonna hit my crossover. It feels good to be building to that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start removing cones. I wanna leave my crossover, because again, that's my goal. I wanna increase my speed, my rhythm up to that point. But I'm going to leave my starting position. I need to know approximately where I'm at here. And so I leave first step and the crossover. Here we go again. Again, I'm just kind of building up. Building, building, building. And then deliver. That felt actually pretty good. But I've been doing this for quite a few years. So I'm going to grab a javelin and give it a bit of a throw here. So I can see out of the corner of my eye where this crossover mark is. So I know if I'm gonna pass it or if I'm gonna like hit, try and hit my crossover too early. I kind of have a sense of where that is. So that's why it's important. If I'm in a, a competition and I'm moving down the runway and I know that I'm gonna miss that mark, I still have plenty of time to stop, go back, reassess, and do it again. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out on my website, coachhally.com. Put your comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to address them. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw far.